Ziggity Zig plays what he wants, plays Final Fantasy IV Japanese translation, which means that it's effectively the same as Final Fantasy II American version, except there are a couple of differences, which you probably noted. For example, the entire thing takes place here on the moon, as opposed to on Earth, and no, that's not quite right. I'm at the point of the story now where I have gone to the moon because... This part was always a little lost on me, where I go to the moon because there's, there's, there's this here ship. I mean, have a look. I come in here, and here is my ship that basically its entire functionality is to create heroic music. <laughs> this is the most heroic music ever. Anyway, but I also love moon music, so we're going to go back out here. Now we're going to find out whether I can defeat things here on the moon. Water. There's no water on the moon, so this has got to totally screw them up. You guys ain't prepared. You are not prepared. Like, we need a little bit of healing, because these guys hit kind of... Holy crap. Okay, let's have us some, uh... Lightning? I don't... Bio work? That didn't... Alright, re-raise. Griff is sending the things over the corner of my eye there. <laughs> my god! Fast, faster! Holy crap! Come on, Robin! Oh, let's do some damage! That did a little bit of damage. Good, I got one. Alright, let's just kill things. He's gonna continue punching me, that's okay. I'm just gonna keep attacking. The, the slowness of the attacks really gets to me. So the thing is, now that I'm on the moon, I want to sort of figure out what is going on here, because I think... Uh, let's see, so there's all the crystals of the Earth, and then there's some kind of weird extra crystals on the moon. Maybe I should actually be paying attention because at this point in the plot, I'm a bit more confused and can't quite remember exactly what's going on. All I know is, go to moon, defeat stuff. This is where Gold Bees went. Wait, did he? Or not? We're gonna find out. Uh, there. How? Alright, so now we need to unpoison ourselves. Oh, I got some experience though, so that's cool. I can attack a few of these, that's not bad. So you, you get poisoned on, on Earth. Now, with a poison, I don't know if I've, if I've shown you this. This, I always thought was kind of neat about having poison on your characters. If I try to walk, every time you walk, it actually takes... It takes hit points off of your characters. Alright, pretty sweet. You know what? <laughs> I'm this close to my free bed, so I'm just gonna go to my free bed. A friend of mine's with OCD, there were six beds, and at this point you could end up with six characters, and they chose a bed for each character you would end up with. And then it was just, that was it. And I think these middle two, I might have actually chosen the correct Cecil bed, because what you're actually... So you go over with the Rosa, and you sleep in the Rosa bed. I... I just... Has anyone ever noticed that... If you grew up with kids playing video games, they turned out to be kind of... I don't want to say strange, but certainly not 100% normal. Oh god, what did I just do? Have I not ever... Kill. Kill everything. Kill them in the face. That's not gonna do it. I guess I'll just have to keep myself healed. Oof, they're punching me hard. We'll try some bio and see what happens. We'll see what happens here. And we'll keep with the sword stabbies. Sword stabby! Well, that was much faster, thank you. Get your money's worth there. Alright, so let's kill this one down here. Need some Apparently gonna Whoa my god! Okay, she needs some seriously stronger kind of magic here, because I don't know any of heals and you have three. So maybe I should get up a heal three on everyone as that is Whoa dear! That's very close. I do not like that. 
Unfortunately, that's gonna kill this top red one. He has 19 hit points. Ooh, crap. Heal him. Heal him. There we go, don't punch Cecil. Ah. Thank you for not punching Cecil. It's just... yeah, I need to... Derp. Kill it. There we go. Alright, so we got a bit of... 10,000? Alright, so I'm getting hella experience, mostly because I... What's a golden? Golden apple. Ooh, I am pretty low on... Oh, I'm in the... Crystal room. Music all of a sudden. Yeah, that should do. Yeah, I'm in the high 30s, and I think I should be probably level 41 or so by now. I usually do most of this game a little bit faster than is comfortable. Oh. Grenades and bombs. I fought you guys on Earth. Topic one up. And she's gonna cast some spells. So most of the end of this game takes place. Well, I won't say most of the end of the game, because I am gonna try to do some other different things, because there are some there are some side quests that I wanna do. I wanna pick up some of the more powerful uh, call magics. Sort of like how I picked up the sylphs. The sylphs down in the sylph cave with Yang and the frying pan, that whole thing. That was actually a side quest, so you don't need to get that part of it. You don't need to do the sylph part. But you do. And you don't need to do two, technically three others, but they're in two different places, so I'm gonna hopefully do that, and I should be strong enough. The only reason I haven't done it before is I felt a bit weak to do it before. Oh god, that's gonna take forever. <laughs> uh, speaking of taking forever. Well, that just cut out. Okay. Crazy... Crazy error just going on there. And oh, wait. So, okay, so that took me a few minutes to fix. But now things are better, and we're back. So here we go. Oh, man, yeah, that's... Okay, so the display feed just went crazy. So I had to wait and fix that a bit. Oh, puddings! Damn it. Ow, are they... I think they're weak, too. Lightning? I I just need to keep healing myself and then trying. Yeah, if can hit you for that much, why can't you hit it for such? You've got a sword. Yeah, there's the short version. If you try to attack it with a sword, then it just. Poor things occur. Oh! The hurt! Why am I on the moon? <laughs> just want to get out of here. Help! More lightning. More healing. I'm almost positive that attacks with swords are not going to do anything, but let's find out. How much do you need to die? Ooh. Quite an amount. Okay, that was cool. It's time for those of us to heal you, and it's time for you to do a little bit more damage, and I need... 
I need another magic user. I mean, if Kane was here, this would be useless, but he'd just jump in the air and hit up, like, two damage on the way down, and that would be a big deal. Oops, wait, no. This might do it. I might know how many hit points your jackasses have. A lot! You have a lot of hit points. Wow, that was actually pretty sweet. That was worth two... Maybe... Ice against those next time would be the way to do it. Oh... Dare I? It's Moon and Stardust. We are Stardust. I don't know, they just appear to be items. Okay, so I've gone through the cave. Through the cave. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we can do here. I'll make a few levels just to get to this part of the game, I think. Ugh. So basically, yes, I'm headed for that castle right there in the middle. For lack of anything else to do. Why am I using ice in the moon? That seems stupid. I don't like this idea. Also, I'm a bit hungry. Using a snack day. I'm having a bunch of weird, useless stress today, so. Give me a snack day. Let's just say yes. So, speaking of weird stress. Alright, I'll give you this story. Because, no one cares. Ice is not the way to do it. So, I'm walking down. I'm walking down the hill today. And, I'm walking my daughter to daycare. And then I see someone walking down behind us with a dog, and I think, hey, I think I know that dog. And I'm right. Because walking down behind us is my ex-girlfriend, who still kind of, well, her parents live in town, but for the most part, she doesn't, does that kill her? She doesn't live here because the last time I talked to her, I, I bump into her around town because she's constantly walking her parents' dog. Because she keeps taking jobs that send her all over the place, so when, when she's done with a job or a contract or anything like that, she comes back to the town where her parents live, and just stays with her parents. Free rent and all that, which is funny, because she's, you know, my age, so old. But! Ah. Uh, so, I mean, the strange thing is that she has actually introduced herself to my, well, not really introduced herself, because I never really know quite how to do it. But she has met my daughter several times. This is the daughter that I had. The, the funny thing there is that we've been. We broke up about. Oh, I'm gonna say. Six years ago. And my daughter's four. So. <laughs> it's a pretty. <laughs> it's a pretty close. It's a fairly close margin. So it is a. Slightly awkward? I don't know. Can it be that awkward? So, of course, they catch up to us because my daughter's not the fastest walker in the world, especially when she's just here having her fun little time of trying to la let's, let's go down the hill type thing. And so, on our way down. Oh, for freak's sakes. So we catch up, and then I get to hurrah and catch up on all of this wonderful stuff that's going on in her life. And, I don't know. It's just sort of a weird weird experience. I don't quite know what to do with myself when met with things like that, because you are going to meet people that... Well, no, you're not, but you do. At least I do. I meet people from my past, because I know a fair amount of people in this town. It's a bonus of living in a university town is most of the time if someone you don't like lives here, they move on pretty quick and you never see them again. I'm like, great! So now I'm just basically following... This is a very linear path. It seems a bit out of the way and ridiculous, but it is a linear path in order to get to the middle castle thing, which is where I'm headed. And once I get to the middle castle thing, then... I don't know, stuff might happen. Wow! Oh, I remember what I was going to do. Uh, 
fire one working? I don't remember if anything did work or not. There we go, I just need to keep, keep myself topped up with heal three. Can't be so bad. Fire does a bit of damage. Did a bit more than... Yeah, I think ice was the worst. Yikes. He's running low on magic power. She's gonna be running low on magic power pretty soon as well. Why did I heal three? Probably because we get destroyed. Yeah! So Cyton is the way to go. Excellent. See me paying attention to all this information? Yeah. I do have... Ooh. I have six cottages. I'm gonna use a cottage. <laughs> I'm just laughing at my own situations. I'm having a weird situation. A new situation at work as well. The lunar underground. Bits. So you have to go through all the underground bits. And it's uh, it, it gets kind of sickening because if you have to travel back and forth more than once, it's a real pain. Hey, wait a kill the people in the front row, even though this game constantly tells me, it doesn't matter if you have people in the front row in the back row. Go to hell. Oh, there you go. Don't punch Raj anymore. Why do you guys get like five million turns and I only get barely one? Whoa, what just... Yeah, that should have hit. Maybe I was going Woo! Sorry, I'm just really excited to put them. When you do when you do big damage to, to monsters that give you a little bit of trouble, but I'm excited about it. Huh. Okay, I think it wasn't a big wasn't a big one. Oh my god! Knock that off! Okay, I'm not gonna believe this for front row back row thing anymore because there is a difference. Of course we are on hard mode. This should at least take care of... I am all out of Phoenix Downs. Which isn't good. <laughs> it's okay, I'm just gonna drag around a corpse. Meanwhile, these two keep getting levels. 40. Well, Edge could use some levels, I guess. Uh, Alright, so the bad news is... I can't bring those two back to life, can I? No, I don't have any... Mm, nope. Fully restores? No. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'd try it, just to see, because Cecil never learns life. He's the most useless paladin. Oh, it's down that way. I don't care. I'm going this way. Let me in the... Oh, it's sweet! I'm gonna do first is just before I do that I am going to save <laughs> with all my corpses let me in now if I remember correctly there are two fountains that I can reach whoa nope to self that brings people back to life hot Get me one of them. For all the dead bodies I need to bring back to life. That didn't come out right. This one should bring back my magic points. Cause it's blue. Now we're talking. Alright. Fear me, I am a level 40. voices I've been using for Edge. Or the one I should have been using for Edge. Uh, who's talking? Who's talking, please? Who's talking? Oh, it's Crazy Eyebrows. The beard made of water. Uh, what's your... What's your story there? Um, I'm Fusuya. We're gonna go even more racist for this one. I'm a Lunarian. I'm a Ru Runarian. <laughs> Between uh, our final days, we built. Yep, yeah, blah blah blah. Blue planet. So. Yep, yeah, so there were two moons around Earth, is what he's saying. Oh, yeah. Very angry. Oh, very angry 
Spider-Man. Seamus. So, <laughs> the very beginning of the game, you're attacking the king. Like, oh yeah, the king. The king is the bad guy. Oh wait, the king's being controlled by this guy you've never heard of called Gold Bees. Oh, I get it. So there we go. The dimensional elevator. What? So he's turning the tower into a dimensional. Oh, my, my brother made the ship and went to Blue Planet. He really liked it there. And he built airships. Oh, and he taught them magic. Then he had the children. One of them was you. Oh, so I'm like the son of a moon man. Kluya is your father. I am your uncle. You can call me Uncle Crazy Hair. Notice that I said he had two children. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What about the um What about the other child? So I have a sibling something? Anyone? Hello? Alright, fine. Uh, so Fusoya is level holy crap is level 50 but does not have all that much. Ooh. Okay. So Fusoya is finally what Tella should have been. Because finally I've got something that's a bit better. Asuna, I think. Aha! I have a rise. See, in the hard mode, you get all those really awesome things. Oh, I've got a holy! Nice! That is an offensive spell. I am looking forward to that. Blink, Bursk, Haste, Hold, Slow, Raver, Reflect, Protect, Silence, Protect, Shell, Mini, Levitate, blah blah blah. Alright. Now, look at that. I can finally cast Medio. Yeah. Um. Did I put thunder over here? I think I did. Where's Blizzard 2? Where's Blizzard 3? Alright, so I've got all three. My biggest problem... Oh, I've got Quake. No thanks. Death, Asper... Um... Quake... Medio... Tornado, Flare, Tornado, Death, Drain, Sleep, Stop, Break, that looks pretty good. Alright, so now we've got all that sorted out. Oh, look at how awesome and powerful he is! And I think there's also, yeah, so you go up this way. And later, when we get to this part, I think you can talk to all these. Oh, we are the we are crystals of the moon. We are crystally moon people. Zemus is a terrible man, even though he's not actually a man because he's from the moon. Oh yes, it is sealed by a mysterious power. So you don't actually learn what that is for. I know there's nothing up the top. But what that is for, is for going to the center of the moon, which is where you eventually want to go to defeat Zemus, because once you find out that Golbees is not actually the boss, you're all like, oh, Golbees, you're not actually so hot. We'll get through all of that. Meantime. There, that's much better. Look at me now. Oh, wait. Energy! I don't actually have anything good here. This diamond, that's cool. The other side. Priest, priest, diamond. Priest? Light. I wonder if light's better than that. Anyway, stop it out here. Because. Yeah, that's enough of that. So, 
uh, leave me a comment down below, send me an email, ziggyzigggmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter, at, at ziggystarcraft. That's what I was trying to say. Stay tuned. <laughs>